For this question, we're only going to be doing distances in nautical miles between different areas. So this is question 10 in navigation. Use dividers on the Timor Sea chart below, this one, to find the distance in nautical miles between A, the peak, of, the peak on Moa, and the northern lighthouse on Wetar. Okay, so we need to find two places first, Moa and Wetar, and then the peak on Moa, the northern lighthouse on Wetar. So Moa, most of the areas, the names should be in boxes. So here is Moa. The peak will usually be represented by a little dot. So we have a, a little dot right there. So that's where we're going to go from. And our section, the northern lighthouse on Wetar. So Wetar might have two lighthouses. What have we got? Poopapa, Timor. Here we are here, Wetar. And you can see that there is a lighthouse here and also a lighthouse here. So the middle of the star will be the position of the lighthouse. So we're going from the peak at Moa to the middle of the star, the lighthouse, the northern lighthouse of Wetar. Okay, so using our dividing dividers, we open them up and measure the distance between the peak to the middle of our lighthouse. So we have a measurement. Now as long as we don't bump our dividers, that measurement should stay the same. Now, nautical miles, one minute of a degree is the same as a nautical mile, as long as you're using a great circle. So all the great circles, uh, sorry, all the lines of longitude are great circles. So usually if you look on the vertical map, it will be the same. So this converted to a line of longitude should be a distance. So let's just choose a, no a nice neat number. So for example, eight, and let's go down to about there. So we have eight degrees, nine degrees. So that's a whole 60 minutes in between those two. And we're going, looks like maybe about a quarter of a way to the next, um, to the next number here at 10. And so first of all, what we wanna do is have a look at how far we're going this way. So we have a bar, a no bar, a bar, and a no bar. So if we have a look at the dis distance between a bar and a no bar, nine degrees to 10 degrees, there's one bar, one no bar, so, th so this space here is divided by two. Okay, so this one here would most likely be 30 minutes when we're getting up to here. 30 minutes. Okay, now, this bar here then is broken up into one, two, three, four, five, six little chits. Six chits into 30 minutes would mean five. So each of these little chits would be five degrees each. Oh, sorry, five minutes each. Okay, so now that we know the scale, well, we're going from eight degrees to here. We can see we've gone down one, two, three chits from nine degrees. So we've got an extra 15 minutes. So that is 60 minutes. 60 minutes from eight degrees to nine degrees and 15 minutes past nine degrees. So effectively we've got 75 minutes. 75 minutes on a line of longitude, which equals 75 nautical miles. 75 nautical miles. So that's us done for question A, the peak from Moa to the Northern Lighthouse on Wetar. Okay, so the next ones we should be able to go through quite quickly. Let's have a look at those ones. The lighthouses on Kisar and Lake Hall. So this is for question B. So first thing, find Lake Hall, here it is, and Kisar here. We have two lighthouses, the middle of the stars from Kisar to the middle of the star for Lake Hall. So our dividers say this is the distance. Once again, convert over to our map and it looks like eight degrees. It almost gets to nine degrees, so it's almost 60 minutes, but it's probably halfway between one of the last chits in the end, this tiny little piece in here. So therefore, halfway in a five minute chit would be say say two or three. I'd probably be happy with, with uh, three chits, or oh, three minutes away from 60. So therefore, we would be 57 minutes 
which once again converts into 57 nautical miles. So 57 nautical miles from Kisar to Lake Hall Lighthouses. Next question. Raycon Light and the peak on Baylor. So Raycon Light, we need to find it, which will be the lighthouse. Here it is right down here. The Raycon Light to the peak on Baybar. So let's have a look through all the different islands. There would be an island somewhere called Baybar. Uh, Harris Banks, the Banks. Here we go, Poopoo Baybar, right over here. So that looks like a long distance. Once again, get out of dividers measure all the way from the Raycon Island to the lighthouse. So that distance there will be which what we'll need. Now unfortunately that distance is going to be further than what we can measure on the scale. This should be a fairly rare occurrence but what can we do? We know that that's our distance we just don't know. We can't use the scale on the side. Two different ways of doing that. Let's just look at the easy one first, which is rule a line between the two places that we have and choose any place at all between those two. Let's just say there, just past the sunrise banks. So what we're going to do then is measure from Raycon to this point, and then we're also going to measure from this point to Bay Bar, and we're going to then convert them together. Actually, by the looks of it, that one there is the peak on Bay Bar. Looks like we're going to... This one's actually Poo Poo Bay Bar, the small one. We actually need it to go from here all the way to the peak there. Once again, choose anywhere. May as well be right where it says Sunset Shoal. It should be nice and easy. So that's our first measure. Once again, go from 8 degrees, and it looks like we're going just a bit past 10 degrees. We're going no, 1, 2 whole degrees, 120, and each of these is a minute, uh, 5 minutes each, and so that would be an extra 10 minutes. So it'd be 120 plus, plus an extra 10 is 130 minutes which equals 130 nautical miles for the first section. Let's look at the next section. From here to Baybar Island. Looks like we almost made it in half. That's okay. Going from 8 minutes down to... Uh, what do we have now? 60, 120, 125, 130, 135 bit past 135, say 138.